I am a citizen of Sault Ste. Marie tribe of Chippewa Indians, and I'm a Anishinaabe. And um, according to traditional storytelling, there's a story um, of the first man. He was lonely, and um, he went to Gitumanadu, the Great Spirit, and he requested a companion. And um, he was given the wolf, Maingan, and um, they went around Turtle Island and they named all the plants and animals. And at the end of the journey, Gitche Manadu told um, the wolf and the first man that um, that they were they needed to separate, but they could still stay connected and they would live parallel lives. So that's why um, I feel like this petition is important. But yeah, we're planning another event, and we're going to try to get Secretary of State to come. Oh. That way people could register to vote there, and then they could just sign it right after. So. That would be awesome! Yeah, I know they came to campus right before the election, so I don't know what the rules are with... Okay. I don't know. That's a really... That's well, we'll really come to it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. I'll let you know yeah, what else we do. If you want to take some petitions, yeah, I go agree. Right yeah, I did too. As the co-president of the Native American Student Association, we feel that it's important um, to have this referendum because um, the wolves are important to tribal people, especially the Anishinaabe, which I, I'm a citizen of the Sault Ste. Marie tribe of Chippewa Indians, and so is Hannah, my co-president. And according to um, a traditional story, um, the first man, the first Anishinaabe man, um, he was lonely and he asked for a companion, and um, Gitche Manadu, the Great Spirit, gave him a wolf or Mayangan. They went on a journey to name all the plants and animals and um, when the journey was done um, they were told that they could no longer be companions but they would still stay connected and they would live parallel lives. You can see um, that we do live parallel lives, that we are sometimes misunderstood. We've both been relocated, we've both been um, slaughtered, we've um, both been um, misunderstood and so forth and um, you can see the connections between um, native people and wolves. And how does it make you feel in your heart about what we might be doing in Michigan? Um, I feel like if this were to be passed because people, the argument is that it would be for um, just management, but I feel like people would get carried away and just shoot them whenever, because they have the right to do it now. They would go overboard, and it just makes me really sad. It's distressing, and it's not it's something like I would like to happen, yeah. Well, I am Mayangan Dodum, so I'm Wolf Clan. Uh, we are related. They are our kin, and um, like if I kill the wolf, it would be almost like me killing my own brother, and that's really hard to think about and another like likeness between like the wolves and us is they're very family oriented our mothers as humans are just as protective of our children as the wolves are to their pups uh, when you see their fierce side it's usually because they feel that we are threatening their livelihood and usually that's the case life comes in full circle sometimes the wolves are I mean, like the deer are higher population or the wolves and it comes in full circle and uh, the world works in a cycle. We need to remember that it will even itself out in the long run. So.